Hello everyone, this is Sikandar Haider and you are watching Electrical Tutorials channel. In this tutorial, you will learn about how to wire a magnetic conductor or how to wire a direct online starter. So basically, in this video, you will learn how to control the three-phase motor using a direct online starter. So here I shown an MCCV circuit breaker, a magnetic conductor and thermal overload really. Normally open, normally closed push button switches and a three-phase motor. So first of all, uh, uh, we have two types of wiring in a direct online starter in which uh, one wiring is control wiring and the second wiring is uh, power wiring. So first we start uh, with power wiring and after that uh, we will discuss about the control wiring. So this is will be the complete guide and uh, after that uh, inshallah you will learn how to control a three phase motor using direct online starter. So first of all, uh, in this uh, uh, diagram, I have shown the MCCB circuit breaker and uh, after that a magnetic conductor and a thermal overload relay. So it can be electronic overload relay, but uh, in this video, I will uh, show you how to uh, how to wire a thermal overload relay. And inshallah, after that, uh, we will uh, make uh, an animation video which um, make you more understand about the uh, controlling of a three phase motor. So the input supply is a three phase four wire supply because uh, the neutral wire is need to the magnetic conductor coil. So there are uh, different types of uh, magnetic conductor. Some are in the coil are energized with the DC current and uh, some coil are energized with the AC current. Uh, uh, in which uh, some rated voltage are 110 and 220, 380, 440. But uh, here I show the magnetic conductor which uh, is energized with 220 volts. So the coil also need the neutral wire. That's why I shown the neutral wire in this uh, diagram. So first of all, P1, P2, P3 means the three phase supply L1, L2, L3. Red, yellow, blue color I have shown. So this uh, first uh, red, uh, yellow and blue, uh, blue. it means that three phase supply is connected to the MCCB circuit breaker and after that uh, uh, the, the supply goes to the magnetic conductor man contacts and uh, after that this supply is goes to the thermal overload really man contacts and from here uh, this supply is goes to the three phase motor. Now come to the control wiring. Control wiring is uh, simple and easy. Uh, in thermal overload really we have two types of uh, contacts. Uh, this is called controlling contacts or uh, auxiliary contacts. So uh, in which uh, we have uh, NC and NO. So basically we use the NC contacts. So first of all, I connect the neutral wire in the NC in which 95 and 96 contacts. So I will connect here to 95 and uh, get the supply from the 96 uh, uh, to the magnetic conductor coil. So here uh, I connected in A1. It's a terminal named with A1. So the supply is come to the auxiliary contacts or the NC contact of uh, uh, thermal overload really and after that uh, it goes to the magnetic conductor coil. So the neutral uh, work is done and uh, now it's uh, come to the control wiring. So first of all, uh, we have uh, NC and NO switches in which uh, the NC switch is uh, uh, used for the switching of the starter and uh, NO switch is used for the switching on the starter. So NC means normally close and uh, NO means normally open. So uh, uh, first uh, the supply line wire supply is goes to the NC switch and after the NC switch uh, we will provide the supply to the NO switch and from here it will goes to the auxiliary contacts. So this auxiliary contacts is normally open not uh, normally closed. So I connected this supply to the normally open contacts of a magnetic conductor. So it's called holding current when we will uh, push the start button uh, and magnetic conductor energize. So this uh, NO contacts, here is the NO point, so will make a close connection and that's why it's the holding current is uh, continuously provided to the coil. 
so the nc supply is can uh, sorry the line supply is connected to the nc switch and after that uh, the nc switch the supply goes to the no switch and from here it's uh, also to the auxiliary contacts of uh, magnetic conductor and uh, after that uh, uh, a wire is goes to uh, this point and this point so this is the another side of uh, no auxiliary point and uh, to the coil so when we push uh, this switch uh, the, uh, the the current goes to this point and this point so that will the when the magnetic conductor energize these contacts make a close connection and uh, the holding current flow to the coil so the magnetic conductor continuously energize so it's too simple and too easy but when the over current flow to the motor if the over current flow to the motor this nc will make a open connection and uh, if uh, the really make open connection the magnetic conductor will de-energize simple wirings easy wiring and uh, uh, also i provide the earth wire to the uh, motor and to, to the dual uh, box uh, if the box is made from the metal so this is simple and easy wiring and if you want to this diagram uh, check uh, the description below i will provide the link of the diagram in the description uh, and uh, inshallah we will uh, make pra practical videos and uh, animation videos about the controlling of direct online starter and uh, uh, forward reverse connections uh, uh, star delta, uh, pass failure, uh, etc., etc. So it will be step by step. So stay tuned with us. Goodbye.